Five years ago, if someone asked me to consider cloud as a technology professional, I would have been excited for the idea of exploring newer technologies. But that decision would have been fraught with a series of obstacles and perceptions about cloud readiness for manufacturing. This would include things like, is it secure? And does it have the capabilities that we're accustomed to with our on-premise installations? Will it be able to support our unique processes and customizations? Will it meet industry standards or regulatory requirements we rely and have to comply with? Now, this is a very important issue depending on the type of manufacturing sub-industry uh, sub that you represent. Is the pricing model understandable? Do we really understand total cost of ownership of our own on-premise installation, or will we simply compare hard costs like licenses and compute? Is it reliable and ready to handle our production workloads, things like shift peaks, and how do we handle licensing or compute surges born from seasonal peaks? And of course, how will something not physically local to our site perform from the cloud? Right? These are all valid concerns, and honestly, there's still prudent questions to ask and to fully understand with any cloud consideration. But if you fast forward through a pandemic and many years of maturity, the answer for all of these is an unequivocal yes. Now, some of these questions may still be significant, and this, is lar this largely depends on the type of cloud service you're considering, or factors like response time, speed, safety, or similar factors where cloud or remote, remote data center services are not a good fit. Right? There still remain situations where local data centers or edge data centers just make more sense than using cloud. But for so many manufacturers and their business processes, the difference between asking these questions today is that these concerns have been largely mitigated. You know, if there's one silver lining with the whole pandemic, it was the rapid and forced business transformation that manufacturers underwent. And a large portion of that digital change was towards cloud services to offset the movement of work from anywhere and, and a geographically diverse workforce. Most organizations long thought they would encounter a reluctant workforce, but most workforces accepted this change. And guess what? They loved it. And because of this, so many of the cloud offerings that are out there today have become truly battle tested. And guess what? the inverse of the risk expectations I mentioned earlier occurred. So for example, it was so easy to make assumptions about cloud security. You know, is, is my environment more secure than cloud? Well, of course it is, but was it really? I think many IT professionals quickly learn without full staff on site, with, a ra with the rapid increase of security attacks on manufacturing in 2020 to make manufacturing the number two most attacked industry, and with 35% of, of these attacks succeeding, we quickly started to realize that on-premise legacy infrastructure and platforms protecting our tech estate might not be as secure or as equipped as we once thought. Now, don't get me wrong, no system's perfect, and, and this includes cloud or co-location, you know, they, they have their vulnerabilities and incidents just like any other technology or, or any on-premise environment. But the only difference is that cloud platforms are using modern everything, integrated with modern security, platforms, 24-7 monitoring, and have at their disposal tool sets to combat what most organizations don't or can't afford. So yes, they are naturally more secure. And when vulnerabilities are discovered, they're quickly mitigated with little or no effort from customers. But there's another lesson the pandemic is schooling manufacturers on today. The lack of visibility, integration, and modern capabilities that drive productivity, as well as customer and employee experience, right? Those on-premise systems we thought were so great, so customized, and so special, well, it turns out it's not how employees want to work. They were not resilient or flexible enough to change with how customers wanted to engage brands during and after the pandemic. And modern platforms with the latest and best practices, process expertise, support for a wide array of devices and work formats are so much more conducive to how top talent wants to and expects to work. So in a world where manufacturers struggle to find any talent, never mind top talent, we need to seriously rethink the tools we arm our employees with. It's important for retaining and attracting the very best talent. And besides out-of-the-box process modernization offered by cloud, 
Most of these platforms were built from the ground up with integrated data models, modern APIs, existing integrations with other top cloud services or even our on-premise platforms like ERP or manufacturing execution. And we can't forget about the growing list of capabilities to integrate things like edge devices, and sensors, networks, you know, security appliances and the technologies that are quickly instrumenting our factories and of course contributing to the adoption and the realization of Industry 4.0. And if any of these thoughts haven't actually connected with you, let me challenge one more concept. And this is the idea that we are better than everyone else. You know, our teams are the best and we can deliver it faster and better than, I don't know, someone else in the marketplace. I'm sure these, there are instances of excellence like this, but with over 600,000 manufacturers in the U.S., are we really part of that top 5%? This is what we have to ask ourselves. Now, I'm fortunate and I've, I've learned from some outstanding leaders, you know, and watch this bias affect actual business outcome. And while there are some very unique and differentiating processes, let's say on the plant floor for automation activities that no one else does on the planet, but the truth is most manufacturers that are considering cloud services, this just isn't the case, right? Our bias and our interest to engineer our own solutions can get in the way of digital transformation and progress. And, and perhaps we're better to set aside these natural inclinations to roll our own and focus on a better way to acquire the technology. Now, the best leaders ask you to deliver capability. They don't tell you how to do it. So when it comes to helping your company transform or meet strategic business objectives or to quickly adopt a new technology, ask yourself these questions. Do I have the skill sets or the bodies to explore, execute, and support post-launch? Does it already exist and is it already proven in the marketplace? How do current and future employees expect to work? You know, and of course, in addition to the basic cap capabilities, will your, your solution integrate with dozens of other solutions in your current or your future tech estate? And lastly, what is the fastest route to value? You know, these are, these are all important questions you should assess in terms of what's a good fit for you. Because at the end of the day, if you have a, a weakness like SOC or SIM monitoring or backup and disaster recovery, or you're looking for a modern business intelligence or a CMMS platform, you can deploy your own, or you can leverage a proven cloud provider who can deliver the very best capabilities to meet your stakeholders' goals in the shortest period of time while unlocking new forms of productivity, process improvement, and to deliver a great employee experience. Now, the one thing that is clear versus five years ago, your option, options are so much greater than in the past. There truly are so many outstanding cloud service, services now available and ready to change how your business operates. And you don't have to do it alone. So work with a trusted partner to explore some of these options and consider what will help your business achieve its business outcomes. If you enjoyed this if, and want to learn more about some of the other or most popular cloud services that IT or manufacturers may want to consider to improve service delivery, augment already stretched thin workforces, improve resiliency, or to accelerate digital transformation, check out our Manufacturing Cloud series of blogs where we dive deeper into this topic.